Hi, welcome. I am still working on Arps Luft WM, and there's a question online on forum related to Polybar. And this is Polybar. Doesn't matter if we are on i3 open box Q tile or any other of the tiling window managers, Polybar is Polybar. And there is a question about, let's have a look, let's open it up. It has to do with the sensors. So everything depends, uh, of course, your hardware. Is it actually going to, um, let's move tab to new window. Will it actually, this one, will it actually show the information that it requires? So two things, hardware, the application sensors and polybar, three things and they should all be in tune, otherwise it won't work. I activate the temperature two module, okay? So how do we do that? We activate temperature two by going to enter and going to polybar, control H. Polybar is not yet there, so normally I put them here. Polybar, move them there. So the stuff that you need, like Hersluf WM, SQ, X, SX, HQD, polybar, config, temperature two, control find, temperature sure. two. There's a custom script we use in the config polybar scripts. There's the temp course, an interval, the format padding, some colors on the lining, and we have this little flame, and then we get this output. So the question is, is this working on my machine? then we know already something. So you need to analyze. If you have two, three, four uh, computers, well, two is enough, then you can compare. Is it hardware related? Yes, no. That's something we need to know. So temperature two, control C, that's what we need. We are on Herbsluft, so we type this in, 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 otherwise it's open box, or i3, or Xmonad, or anything else. You go look for the main bar that you're using um here it is kernel so let's kill kill the kernel and that's gone and let's take temperature two when we save it's immediately changed and indeed it is working on my system so that gives us an an, an idea already that my hardware is different than the user's hardware so maybe you need to do some to make some changes and of course we can't help you with that we can help you, but we, we don't have your hardware. So in the scripts, we have here the temp course. So let's open that with Sublime Text as well. So you see here some raw data. And this is something, it starts with this strange Chinese thing, right? Copy. So let's go to this one, Control T, Control Shift V. This is what we get. So, kill it again, in a sense, break it down again in pieces. Delete this thing, it's okay. Is this giving me something? Yes, no. Is this giving me something? Yes, no. So everything starts with, of course, the application sensors. If you are working on Linux D or Linux B, you've been deleting some stuff, right? Minus S, this is called LM sensors, you should or was it with an underscore? Uh, yeah, I was the saying. LM on sensors, install it, make sure it is installed and it's reinstalled now. And the only thing you can do with any application is sensors minus H. It's a good one. And this, in this case, it helps. So dash dash help uh, will work as well. And another thing that's always interesting to learn more is MAN, so give me the manual of uh, sensors. So both of those are applicable to any uh, situation out there, any application out there. And um, then we keep on, on investigating, right? We need, we, we need to learn more about our system. So the code actually produces something here, but it might be that the, the data that is provided from the sensors is just not, not right. So this line, if we can change this line, then something uh, will happen, would happen, can happen. 
this one gives me the temperature right i can keep running this and it's up here that is going to be the update and then depending on the um, how warm it is it's going to change in colors i think i don't know i would do that but let's see the script to the polybar scripts is here scripts and then temp course let's see at the code or was it already open no it was not so here's some colors right remember pigments if it's not installed let's get rid of that packages settings install packages pigments install it then the colors become obvious this is hexadecimal and these are all the colors with all the values this is going to be very hot indeed so that's this color so okay um it should work basically it depends on the hardware on the the the, the output that this thing gives so you need to figure out do what do i need to change and and start changing these uh, data and that's my advice to you. All right, I hope you find it.